Hey guys, welcome to California on a Sunday afternoon. They actually say it's going to snow tonight, so it's the day before President's Day and the snow level is supposed to drop down to 1,500 feet. We're at about 3,000, so uh, yeah, I look like I'm ready for snow, right? Hey, uh, I got my Deal Co. Crane hat on. Shout out to my friends at Deal Co. Crane in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I got my North Mississippi All-Star shirt on, so hey, we're good to go. This episode is called Easy Open Box. Uh, there's something that is probably the trademark of all my guitars that I kind of take for granted. So I'm going to run through this real quick on how to build a box that opens really easily and is accessible. Uh, and it's always worked for me. Now, my early guitars were of uh, thinner boxes. I always found good gig posters. This is a North Mississippi All-Stars. It's got uh, Cody and uh, Luther's signature on it. I call this one punk, and you might have seen this before. It's a three-string. Anyway, um, I used to build these and not really think about things like, how would I take the strings off uh, uh, easily? Or how would I get to the inside if I really needed to without taking the strings off? And we all know you really, really want to avoid taking all the strings off of a guitar uh, if you can, you want to always keep some tension on it. But I used to build these guitars without a thought as to how I was going to get inside, how quickly I could do that, or uh, anyway, simple mistakes. Now, the second guitar I ever built uh, was a radioactive theme. It was a North Mississippi All-Stars uh, gig poster. It had some kid fishing with a bamboo pole and some out in the toolies by a pond and it had a mushroom cloud going off in the background so I took that poster and did <laughs> here's one of the sound hole remnants it was a radioactive theme guitar um, so I gave it to Luther and it ended up going to North Mississippi I talked to him after that and he said one of his friends saw it and had to have it anyway it's one of my earliest ones and uh, as I grew in guitar building, I realized, you know what, there's a lot easier way to do things than to screw the top of the box closed and then have to take the strings off and everything to get inside if there's something you want to work on. So we're going to talk today a little bit about easy open boxes, my method for doing that, maybe some other things you might want to consider as well. Let's hit the workbench. Okay, let's not hit the workbench. As always, I forget the housekeeping thing. End of the video, there is a uh, an email address for me. I like the emails. I really like the emails I'm getting now about the one called History Lesson and the Plane and everything. Thanks, everybody. Um, and then there's my playlist, and it'll suggest a video for you. If you subscribe on that center button, you will automatically get notified when I release a video. So now let's get to the workbench. Okay, guys, we're on the bench. Um, uh, first off, this is punk, and if I want to take this guitar apart, even though it's got sound holes, uh, the mistake I made was I ended up putting screws through here, um, and so if I want to take this lid off, I have to unscrew these, I have to pull uh, these uh, screws out of the box corners, and then I have to take the strings off. Yeah, what a hassle with this one. But this one, the Bob Log guitar, you've seen this one before. I simply unscrew these wing nuts. Takes me longer to get the wing nuts off and not drop them on the floor. It does anything. But there I am. I'm inside. I can work on the pickups. I can check wiring. I can do whatever I need to do really quick. It's because of the sound hole setup. So I'm going to show you very quickly how I do that. Okay, I've got uh, my typical Camacho box. I've got it. Uh, I put the lid back on, but it's set for the neck already. So I know uh, where everything is going to be. Um, I've drawn out the thickness of the box here on the top of the box all the way around. So I know that I'm not going to run into anything when I drill through. I want to know where this corner is going to be here, like so, because when I set my mark, let's do it over here, when I set my mark for my sound hole, I don't need these running into each other like this. So I've got this here. I basically line this up like this. I take my awl 
and I make a little hole by doing this like so okay so I have my hole right there uh, I run a straight line across there I just take this and figure out where that hole is where the edge of the box is like so and I just mark it there set my square and then just flip it over go to the other side of the box and make a mark and because I have this line set here and I've got the top of the box square I just simply draw a line across that way I've got my two holes uh, my two marks there with the all and now I'll drill pilot holes so using a really small bit I've got my mark there go through the box there go through the box there okay now I've got a Forstner bit and I've got my RV sink drain and if you look at this the Forstner bit is smaller than the RV sink drain there we go uh, so it will fit in the hole but the lip will ride the edge you don't want to make the hole so big that this lip doesn't ride it okay guys what I'm doing now is I flip the box open and I found my pilot hole in the bottom and rather than drill through from the top and bug all this out I'm just gonna do a light work on the bottom here to get the line cut in like so okay now we've traded the cordless for uh, uh, one a drill with a little bit more lead in it. well let's keep this G rated shall we um, and I've got my pilot hole right there all right there's one and we'll do the other one all right there we go uh, we take the sound hole we put it in and of course we look at our edges there everything there's enough space for that there and there and we're good to go now it's time to find a way to get that bolt up through the bottom so we take our all we go straight down make sure it's about as straight as possible tap a hole like so when you open the box if you get rid of all the dust you're going to see that there's a hole there i'm going to drill a pilot hole so i'm going to put a piece of scrap wood under there like so I'm back to my cordless with my small bit got my holes there and there now just for good measure literally I'm going to take my t-square and I'm going to draw a line like so to make sure that my holes are right on that one might be a little bit off just a tad uh, they're both okay so I'm going to take a bigger bit, drill down through here for the bolts. Go to the pilot hole, just like so. Now I'm going to take this to the belt sander real quick, knock those down. There we go, nice and smooth. Now, little trick, I go to the hardware store and buy these bolts by the box I don't buy them uh, little by little and I also um, get a bag of the wing nuts that will fit on them and I buy these in bulk because if you're going to the hardware store every time they're a little bit more expensive and if you buy in bulk they're going to give you a better deal anyway I take this bolt run one down there Run one down there. Flip the box over. Okay, there's my bolts coming up through the bottom of the box. 
got my RV sink drains. Of course, I buy these in bulk. Drop one there. One there. Now the worst part, take my old man arthritic fingers and try to get a wing nut on top of that without dropping it. There we go. That went good. Perfect. All right. It's my lucky day. There you go. Start to finish. No time at all. Box stays closed nice. Doesn't rattle. Uh, that's my way of doing it. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, worked for you. I know you've seen uh, the way I do this a bunch of times in other videos, but I thought I would focus it up for you. Um, and one last thing, that radioactive guitar that I built, Luther Dickinson, that he took back to North Mississippi, well, we did a sound check with it, and I've got a clip of that. Uh, and Luther was good enough um, to uh, give me one of his solo works here, uh, Hambone meditations and he signed it to me and it says thank you for the radiation thanks luther you're the best now let's watch him play that guitar see you next time